Okay, this is actually off the ZR5 that we previously uh, filmed, give you the overview. What we're going to look at today is changing this top hat diaphragm that's in here. It comes like this from the supplier OEM or ourselves. You then actually physically got to turn it inside out like this, then fold it back on itself. Okay, and that is how it's going to go in there. But I'll show you more when we actually tear it apart. But you can see that's how it arrives in your bag from the supplier. And then you've got to make that alteration to it. So let's let's take some of this apart and give you an overview. Okay, we just want to mention that in the uh, in the assembly of this, there's two actual locating bolts with nuts. And you use 13 millimeter spanner on both sides to take that out. Okay, we're going to do the rest now. Okay, so I've pre-removed all these bolts. I've just got this last one. The spanner you use is 17 millimeter. Okay, and don't forget it's easy to locate back up because we've got these bolts that go in these holes. So don't don't worry about getting it in the wrong place. I always take a photograph as well before you disassemble something. It makes it a lot easier to remember where things go okay if you can remember what I was saying about the diaphragm this is now completely the other way around so we're going to take this diaphragm out shouldn't be too difficult you just peel the back that outer edge okay and you peel the you peel the diaphragm off this central spot now remember what remember what I said this is this is actually this way around when it gets supplied okay Kind of things you want to be checking is if there's any wear on this edge here or it's been scuffed at all on the sides but generally you'd be changing this this diaphragm for a new one okay another quick check that you must make does the throttle move really in and out okay you'd normally be doing this on the compressor so the throttle would 100 percent on but you need to go all the way and all the way back you need to check it's not loose and whackering around, which would indicate that the bearings in there are warm. Okay, so again, we're going to just run through this process again. Just remember what we do, we fold it inside out. Okay, and fold it back again on itself, like this. And bring the pip up to the middle piece. Okay, like that. And we start to feed this in. Now, sometimes when you push it, it will go in. But when you get to this stage, you need a piece of card to push this outside edge. So I'm just going to get a piece of card and then we'll do that. Okay, just, just for the purpose of this exercise, I've, I've put most of it in. So what you do is just, just get a card, credit card, very loosely. Don't, don't push it hard. Just ease it in all the way around. Sometimes it can get a bit stuck. Generally... You can, which I'm not making a very good job of. You can get in all the way around like that, okay? You can try it. What you need to do as well is just make sure that this piece of rubber is behind this pip. So you can generally just work your card around and make sure that's on. And then the diaphragm's mounted. Again, if you want to go around again, you can just push that in, just check all the way around it's fitted properly and then check the cover check the covers okay and then you would put the cover on with your first bolt and then your second bolt okay that's that part of the uh, training exercise completed